What's up guys, Anthony with The Real American Outdoors and today we're going to be doing a quick first impression video of this Eskimo Keeper jacket. Now if you're interested in Eskimo Keeper bibs, check out our uh, mid-season review we did uh, back last year right up here. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell on the side. It really helps us out and lets you know when we put up a new video every Tuesday and Saturday. Alright, let's get into it. Oh, that is a good looking jacket. And if you are only about the looks with these jackets, this is probably the jacket for you with the red plaid that Eskimo uh, prides themselves on. Um, but if you are into, if it's going to keep you warm, this jacket will do the job for sure, per the specifications. Now, as you can see, I still have the tags on. I have not worn this jacket out ice fishing yet. I plan on wearing it this weekend uh, out on the ice. So I'm going to do another video mid-season review and let you guys know how I like it so far. But if it's anything like the uh, bibs, um, the keeper bibs from Eskimo, I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Let's get into the first impressions on it. Looking at it right away, you'll see, yeah, you got the red plaid. Um, detachable uh, hood. I don't know why you'd want to take your hood off unless you are late ice and it's a really nice day out. But even that, it kind of stays out of the way. Right away, I kind of saw this. Um, yeah, it's Velcro. And this would be the harder part of Velcro. But it's really flat. And it's like not gonna tear your skin off or if it flaps into your face or something it's not gonna hurt at all so um i don't know maybe that's just i don't think they intended for that to be that way but it's still nice um moving on down you got a little keeper here if you want to keep tools or whatever you're going to keep in there um another nice little pocket here pretty big you'll see keep your license or maybe pliers or something in there who knows another pocket right here so i probably will keep some gloves right there or maybe my pliers and then you do have your normal pockets right here i mean my entire hands in there as you can see up to my wrist so same thing right there and it looks like a nice zipper pocket going down so technically four pockets at the bottom which is nice you can never have too many pockets and then another chest pocket down there. So looks like you got three pockets up on top here and then four pockets at the bottom. Uh, the Eskimo Keeper jacket has that 600 denier uh, waterproof, windproof uh, outer shell, which is what's going to keep you warm. Um, this is a float uh, jacket, so pairing it up with the Eskimo Keeper bib, which is a float bib, gives you a complete float suit. Um, aiding your own self-rescue if you were to fall through the ice. Again, so this has their uplift technology. It's just their um, their float flotation device within their suit. This has 80 grams of 3M thin solate technology, which is in throughout the entire uh, chest of the jacket here, except for the arms. They only put 60, and you can feel a little bit of a difference. And the reason why they did that was for mobility. So another thing that Eskimo is really good uh, with compared to Clam and Fraybill that I've noticed is tapered seams on these Eskimo jackets and bibs. You'll see the seams all over. I mean, they're really well stitched. Everything's really well put together. Um, you'll see in here, we do have another pocket on the inside there. Nice big like bag pocket. Um, another inside chest pocket there that's zippered. That is it. No other pockets on this side here. So uh, just two inner pockets. But uh, comfortable jacket. It does allow you to tighten up at the bottom here if you need to. Um, and then same thing up at the top if you need to tighten up that hood on those windy days. Another cool thing a lot of people overlook are the zippers. This zipper is on here pretty good. And even if it were to snap, it's not going to tear your whole entire zipper off. So it would be easily re replaceable. Along with the Velcro we talked about up here, we have the nice Velcro down here. The hard part where it's not going to tear your skin or rip anything else, uh, which is also really nice. All right, guys, that is it. So the main reasons why I got this was to pair with my Eskimo Keeper bibs. And the main reason why I chose the Keeper line was the value and the specification that you get compared to other brands. Uh, we only ice fish uh, down here maybe three months out of the year. We don't, we open water fish mainly. So uh, I do plan on wearing these on the open water in the early spring or in the late fall, especially when we go up to Sturgeon Bay and are fishing for smallmouth uh, with that northeast wind so uh and for those of you who 
know what I'm talking about and know that uh, that sucks. All right, so make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys can see my mid-season review for the Eskimo Keeper jacket. Uh, and I will let you know how they're pairing together nicely with the Eskimo Keeper bibs. So if you guys like anything fishing, tractors, auto 2A, or freedom, especially ice fishing, which is, I'm assuming is why you guys are watching this video, uh, check us out at Real American Outdoors. Check out the American Fishing Challenge Ice Brawl, an ice fishing tournament that goes across the entire country wherever there's safe ice. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time.